Good morning, friends. How are you all? Today we are going to talk about indefinite integral. So I'll share my computer screen with you. Find the indefinite integral and check the result by differentiation. Integration of x squared plus 2x minus 3 divided by x4 dx. Okay. So this is the one we are going to do today. Okay. So let's work on the solution for this problem. Integration of x squared plus 2x minus 3 divided by x to the power of 4 dx, okay, is equal to integration of x squared divided by x4 plus 2x divided by x4 minus 3 x4 all inside parenthesis and then dx which can be further written as integration of x square by x4 is if I bring 2 minus 4 to the numerator is x minus 2 plus 2x to the power of 1 minus 4 is x minus 3 minus 3x4 from the denominator to numerator is minus 4dx. Okay. So this is equal to x minus 2 plus 1, when I integrate, minus 2 plus 1, plus 2x minus 3 plus 1, denominator minus 3 plus 1, minus 3x minus 4 plus 1, and minus 4 plus 1. And there is an integration constant C. C is an integration constant. Okay. So this will become equal to x to the power of minus 2 plus 1 is x to the power of minus 1. And minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1. And it's a minus sign in front of this. Okay. Then plus 2 x to the power of minus 2 divided by minus 3 plus 1 is minus 2. Okay. And then minus 3 x to the power of minus 4 plus 1 is minus 3 divided by minus 3 minus 4 plus 1 is minus 3 plus c. So this will further become equal to equal to minus x to the power of minus 1. This one, the 2 in the numerator and 2 in the denominator cancel, but a minus sign transfer to the numerator, minus x minus 2. And then 3 and 3, minus 3 minus 3 will cancel. So this will be plus, plus x to the power of minus 3 plus c. So that's the result of your integration. So actually, indefinite integral of x square plus 2x minus 3 divided by x4 dx is equal to minus x to the power of minus 1, okay, minus x to the power of minus 2 plus x to the power of minus 3 plus c, which we can write as Mm. minus 1 over x okay. minus 1 over x square x to the power of minus 2 
plus 1 over x cubed plus c. This is your final result. c is the integration constant. Okay. We write c is integration constant. Did we do it correctly? Now we have to check with differentiation. So let me reduce this a little bit. Okay. Uh, okay. So check. Check by differentiation. So d of dx minus 1 over x minus 1 over x squared plus 1 over x cubed plus c. Let's do the differentiation of this. Okay. So this will be equal to, okay, x to the power of minus 1, okay, minus 1, okay, And then a minus 1 times a minus 1 because it was already minus 1. And then since x power is minus 1, that will come in the front. Okay. <clears throat> and then this one will be minus, minus 2 will come in the front. And then x2 minus x is exponent is minus 2 minus 1 okay the next one will be minus this plus right plus and x to the power of minus 3 therefore minus 3 will come in the front and x to the power of uh x to the power of minus 3, minus 1. And the derivative, okay, so this will be derivative of c is 0. So this will be minus 1 times minus 1 is positive 1. x to the power of minus 2, minus 2 times minus 2 is plus 2, x to the power of minus 3, and then minus 3x to the power of minus 4. Okay, so this will become equal to 1 over x squared plus 2 over x cubed minus 3 to the power of x4, okay, which can be further written as x4 x squared over x4 plus 2x over x4 minus 3 over x4. And I create some space for myself. So this will be finally equal to inside in the numerator or in the denominator we have x4 and in the numerator we have x square plus 2x minus 3 okay which is the original function hence by doing the derivative or finding the derivative by differentiating the term we got after the integration we get back to what we started with in the integration so these proofs so deriv by doing the derivative of the
quantity or the expression that we got after doing the integration, we come back to the original expression of this one. So that proves that the integration that we did was correct. So this is the integration result. Okay, integration result. Integration result. Indefinite integral. And this is the original function back from the doing the derivative of the function that we got after integration. So I will stop here today. If you have any question or comment, please write me a note. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. Also, please let your friends know about this video so that you and your friends can subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. I'll be back next time with another interesting problem, interesting solution. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. See you next time. Take care.